Today we will dive into the vast and varied world of Linux, a digital playground where unique versions known as distros offer a tailored computing experience. Picture DSL, a compact powerhouse at just 50 MB, bringing old computers back to life. Marvel at tiny core Linux incredible 10 MB size, proving that great things come in small packages. Transition smoothly from Windows with the intuitive Zorin OS, or embrace the future with Chrome OS, a portal to cloud-based living. For creatives, MusicX, GNU plus Linux is a symphony of multimedia tools. Each distro is a unique pathway, offering customization, power, and community support. We have a flavor of Linux to match your taste. And before commencing, just a quick info for you. If you are an aspiring cybersecurity professional looking for online training and certifications from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity from MIT University in collaboration with EC Council should be your right choice. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work-ready expertise in skills like advanced hacking concepts, network packet analysis, ethical hacking, network security, and over a dozen others. The course is designed to accommodate a diverse range of learners and requires just a bachelor's degree with a 50% average. And you require no programming experience and one plus year of work experience is preferred. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below. Now we are about to take a deep dive into the world of open source operating systems, where diversity is key and customization is limitless. Each distro we will discuss offers its own unique blend of features, usability and community. So let's get started and we'll start with the first one that is Ubuntu. So Ubuntu is a Debian based Linux operating system that is designed for desktops, servers and increasingly for cloud and IoT devices. It's known for its user friendliness, robustness and strong community support. Ubuntu offers a secure, intuitive and feature rich experience with a focus on accessibility and internationalization. It provides regular releases and a predictable update schedule and is often chosen for its balance between cutting edge technology and stability. So this was about the number one distro. Now moving to the next, that is Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And before moving to Red Hat Enterprise Linux, we will have a screenshot of the operating system here. And you could see how the UI of Ubuntu looks like. Now moving to the next, that is Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So RHEL, it's a commercial Linux distribution designed for enterprise environments. It's known for its stability, security, and support. RHEL provides long-term support, certified ecosystems, and subscription-based access to updates and support services. It's widely used in hosting, cloud computing, and as a reliable platform for critical applications. So moving to the UI UX of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So this is the screenshot for that. And now we'll move to the next distro that is Debian. So Debian is a free and open source operating system known for its stability, reliability, and vast package repositories. It's governed by a community of developers and users and prioritize adherence to free software guidelines. Debian is a versatile, supporting a wide range of hardware and suitable for desktops, servers, and emulated systems. Now moving to the next Linux distro, that is SUS Linux Enterprise. So SUS is a commercial distribution focusing on enterprise needs, offering a robust, scalable, and secure platform. It provides comprehensive support, updates, and a management system designed for complex deployments. SUS is known for its YAST configuration tool, making system management more accessible. Now we'll see the UI UX for this Linux distro. So this is the present Linux distro UI UX. Now moving to the next, that is Linux Mint. So Linux Mint is a Ubuntu based distribution known for its ease of use and out of the box experience. It provides full multimedia support, a variety of desktop environments and a focus on user friendliness. Linux Mint aims to be a modern, elegant and comfortable OS, which is both powerful and easy to use. Now moving to the next distro, that is Slackware. So Slackware is one of the oldest distributions known for its simplicity and minimalism. It follows a philosophy of keeping it simple and as Unix-like as possible. Slackware offers no formal package dependency resolution, appealing to users who prefer manual system configuration and understanding the inner workings of their OS. Now we'll see the UI UX. So this is the current UI UX of Slackware Linux distro. 
Now moving to the next, that is Gento. So Gento is a source based distribution, meaning the user compiles the source code locally according to their preference. Known for its flexibility and performance optimizations, Gento provides a unique system called Portage, which makes it easy to manage packages, dependencies, and system updates. Now we'll see the current UI UX for the Gento Linux distro. So this is the current UI UX. If you will install it and see the home page, this will be the same. So now moving to the next distro that is Arc Linux. So Arc Linux is a rolling release system focused on simplicity, modernity, pragmatism, user centrality and versatility. It's known for its minimalistic approach where users only install what they need. Arc provides a vast amount of up-to-date software and is backed by strong community documentation. Now moving to the next Linux distro that is Fedora. So Fedora is a cutting edge community supported distribution backed by Red Hat. It's known for its commitment to open source software and its role as a testing ground for features that make it to RHEL. Fedora emphasizes innovation, features the latest software and offers various pins tailored to specific use cases. And now moving to the next Linux distro that is OpenSUSE. So OpenSUSE offers a stable and feature rich platform for both desktops and servers. It's known for its user friendly configuration tool, YEST and its two flavors. Leap Stability Focused and Tumbleweed Rolling Release. OpenSUSE provides an excellent platform for developers, system administrators, and desktop users. So you can see the UI UX for the OpenSUSE Linux distro on the screen. Now moving to the next one that is Kubuntu. Kubuntu is an official flavor of Ubuntu using the KDE Plasma desktop instead of Gnome. It's known for a user-friendly experience and a beautiful graphical interface. KDE Plasma offers customization and a wide range of applications and a more Windows-like feel. Kubuntu aims to be a versatile and elegant OS, suitable for both newcomers and experienced users. Now, we'll see the UI UX for the same Linux distro and it's on the screen. Now moving to the next, that is Lubuntu. Lubuntu is a lightweight version of Ubuntu using the LXQT desktop environment. It's designed for older computers or systems with limited resources. Despite its minimalistic approach, Lubuntu is fully functional and user-friendly, offering a simple and fast computing experience with low hardware requirements. And this is the UI UX for the Linux distro Lubuntu. Now moving to the next, that is Xubuntu. So Xubuntu is an Ubuntu variant using the XFCE desktop environment. It strikes a balance between functionality and resource efficiency. XFCE provides a stable, light and configurable desktop environment, making Xubuntu suitable for older computers while still offering a modern look and feel. It's a great choice for those who prefer a minimalist yet fully functional desktop. And moving on, we'll see the UI UX for the Linux distro Xubuntu. And the next on the list is Adubuntu. Adubuntu was an official derivative of Ubuntu designed for educational institutions. It aimed to provide a free open source platform that included educational tools for students and teachers. While no longer actively developed, it offered a range of applications tailored for classrooms, making it easy to deploy in educational settings. Now we can see the UI UX for the Linux distro at Ubuntu and, and this is for the educational institutions. Now moving to the next that is Easy peasy. So Easy peasy was a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu for notebooks. It aimed to be lightweight with a focus on ease of use and functionality for mobile computing. It featured a custom user interface and pre-installed applications optimized for netbooks, emphasizing web-based applications and services. And now you can see the UI UX for the same. Now moving to the next Linux distro that is Zential. Zential is a server OS based on Ubuntu, designed to manage office servers and network services. It's an easy to use Linux alternative for Windows Server, offering features like a domain and directory server, mail server and gateway. Zential aims to simplify network management with a user-friendly interface and modular design. And now on the screen, you can see the UI UX for the Linux distro Zential. And now moving to the next, that is GenuSense. So GenuSense is a Debian-based Linux distribution that focuses on free software. It's endorsed by the Free Software Foundation. GenuSense removes non-free firmware 
and software from Debian to comply with strict free software guidelines, offering a completely open source operating system for users who prioritize freedom. Now, moving to the UI UX for the Linux distro, GNUSense, and the next on the list is Pingai OS. So Pingai OS is an Ubuntu based distribution designed to be user friendly and full of out of the box functionality. It includes many pre-installed applications and tweaks, focusing on user experience and ease of use. It's tailored for new Linux users and those who want a system that just works. Now we can see the present UI UX of the home screen of the Pingai OS Linux distro. Now moving to the next on the list that is Bodhi Linux. So Bodhi Linux is an Ubuntu based distribution using the Moksha desktop. It's known for its minimalistic approach and high customizability. Bodhi is designed for users who want to tailor their system to their preferences. It's lightweight, resource efficient and suitable for older hardware. And now on the screen you can see the UI UX for Bodhi Linux. Now moving to the Zorin OS and the last OS on our list. So Zorin OS is designed to be easy for newcomers transitioning from Windows. It features some windows like GUI and the ability to run many Windows programs via Wine. It's versatile with several additions tailored to different users, including an educational version. Now you'll see the UI UX for the Zorin OS. So this is the current UI UX of the homepage of Zorin OS. And there you have it folks. We hope you enjoyed this insightful tutorial. And if you like this session, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing programs, and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.